Land-based Quidditch is a mixed-gender contact sport. The wooden brooms from the film have gone, replaced with plastic tubes that meet strict specifications. These are the Nottingham Nightmares, all students at the University of Nottingham. For them, Quidditch isn't a lark about pretending to be wizards. Many rugby and American football players have joined the team and have worked hard to improve its sporting skill. In this version of Quidditch, there are training plans, injuries and illegal moves. I think um, one of the reasons people should play Quidditch is that it's a very, it's sort of a gateway sport in that um, it's a lot more open than sort of uh, more established sports. It's a good sport to get into. Like, obviously you hear Quidditch and you think it sounds a bit stupid, a bit silly, a bit like uh, people chasing around a guy with a sock in his shorts kind of thing. But if, when you actually look past that, it's quite a good sport. Like you've got hard tackling, you've got good passing, and it, it shows quite a few skills that you, you know, that you don't see in other sports. We're not ready. Hurry up. We're ready now. Ready. up. I've always been a big Harry Potter fan, but the people I get on with are the sports people that are the ones who are here to win. I've always liked it. I've read all the books, I've read, uh, seen all the movies. I have a fair bit about it. I like it. Um, it's not the reason I got into it, though, but yeah, I don't know. As the president, like I am pretty into Harry Potter. Um, I also... Uh, I kind of use it as a as a, a moral guideline because I think the message in it is really nice so I just sort of think like what could Harry do for some things. I went to a small primary school, mum was the netball coach and as such I ended up playing every sport the, the school offered and being one of the key people in all of them because I came from an athletic background. But how does it all work? Rob Barringer, founder of governing body Quidditch UK, explains. So Quidditch is basically like um, handball mixed with dodgeball with the contact sport of rugby um, and then you catch the snitch like it's tag rugby. So how that all works is you have hoops which you score through, um, you have a set of hoops that you also try to stop the other team scoring through um, and you score like handball so you carry the ball, you run around, you try and throw it through the hoops. You can tackle each other like in rugby with a one arm tackle. Um, all of that happens while you're mounted on a broom, by the way, of course, because it's Quidditch. Um, and then you have the dodgeball element where two people on each team uh, throw dodgeballs. If you get hit with a dodgeball, you're knocked out of the game until you go back and touch your hoops. So you have to stop playing. You drop your ball, you stop playing, you go back, you touch your hoops, and then you can come back in. Um, you have a keeper who tries to defend your hoops. And then you have the seeker who runs after a neutral person called the snitch. Um, and the snitch has a tag hanging out the back of the shorts and the seeker has to try and pull the tag from the snitch's shorts. We have uh, national tournaments which are organised by Quidditch UK. Um, uh, we sponsor a national team to go out to, the, to international tournaments. There's one coming up in Frankfurt that we're send, sending the squad for. Um, so we basically just try to develop and grow the sport within the UK. The British Quidditch Cup is the um, biggest tournament we have in the UK. Um, it's the national tournament that all of the teams try to go to. The Nightmares came fifth at the last BQC and are training hard with the hopes that they'll win this time around. Ah, hit my hand. And my leg. <laughs> What do you feel like your chances are like oh, this time round? You're going to win it. No, no doubt about it in my mind. And we've got we've got some of the best players. We've got one. That we work really well as a team when we get going. So I think we're going to win it. If things come together how they should and how they usually do, we should be able to win easy. It's not Quidditch for the Nightmares without Oscar, our uh, mascot. Four games and we become champions of Britain! Yeah! That's all I need to tell you! Yeah! We're going to hit them! Yeah! 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 We're going to win every game! Yeah! yeah! We're gonna win. No, no! no!
Feet back your feet, sir! Yes, we have been out, girls! Safe! Each tournament, as with any sport, you're always going to get injuries. Um, sometimes people will go down and they'll hit their head when they hit, hit the ground because they haven't fallen correctly. Um, so they'll get concussion. Um, that doesn't tend to happen that free frequently. Um, we've had a few broken clavicles, a few broken arms. We've never had spinal fractures or anything like that. Anything that is at real danger of killing anybody. Um, so that's something that's always good. Um, yeah, so so you can always expect some injuries, but of course we try to minimise them. And then you have the kind of more minor injuries. So you obviously have a broom, and if you run into somebody, the broom can go into some very unfortunate places on people's bodies. B, not the chaser. <laughs> I thought she was going to get bullied. <laughs> I thought it was quite surreal because she was quite a Harry Potter fan, but I hadn't realised it was an actual game that people played. And now we're loving it. Oh, it's brilliant. Fantastic. It's really, really good. Obviously disappointed. Um, I think I think the better team honestly won. Um, they were smarter than us and they played a really good game. Um, yeah, disappointed for definite. The crestfallen nightmares didn't stay for the prize giving. Sneaking off home shortly after losing the semi-final to Warwick and the third place playoff to Durham. They came fourth with first place going to last year's winners, Oxford's Radcliffe Chimeras. But the Nightmares have another chance to get their rivals back at the upcoming European Quidditch Championships.